When you look at the media coverage of trade, what are we all getting wrong in our coverage of the history and the present and the future of these trade wars? Well, I think the media, not surprisingly, pay rather too much attention to the rhetoric and uh, instead of to the reality. Uh, what we've seen so far is basically round one of a potential trade conflict. You know, the U.S. imposition of tariffs on steel and uh, on, on iron and aluminum, and then uh, the 50 million in two stages, 136 billion and uh, or the 14 billion. Uh, but with a bit of luck, uh, there will be no second round and no further escalation. So in my mind, uh, <clears throat> the situation looks contained. Frightening, yes, right. because accidents always happen. Nobody wanted World War I yeah. to happen. But I think we should really view this as a game of bluff and double bluff and counter bluff rather okay. than as a place where threats will be implemented. You taught at Princeton 30, 40 years ago. Avinash Dixit holds court down there on game theory and the art of strategy. Is President Trump's strategy to be a mercantilist? Is that really what we're talking about? Is Catherine Rampell with her great first half essay in the Washington Post said we're bombing ourselves back to 1680 when the Netherlands reigned supreme? He is mercantilist in the sense that he believes, and I think firmly believes, that uh, trade deficits are bad for you and trade surplus is good for you. But he's also somebody who wants better access for U.S. goods and services, especially goods, uh, to foreign markets. Mm. And he has indeed uh, not just co-written the art of the deal, but also must have perused, directly or indirectly, uh, Thomas Schelling's the strategy of conflict. That if you can convince your counterparty in a situation of conflict and adversarial right. bargaining, <clears throat> that you are irrational, you have an enormous bargaining advantage. All right, Vathilam, when you look at the impact on the economy, are we closer to a possible downturn because of trade wars, or actually is, is this fiction? The fear of trade wars undoubtedly exercises a dampening effect everywhere. But we have, uh, and so in that sense, it does not help. Uh, economic growth globally and is a contributor to the softening of global growth that we are undoubtedly seeing. We're not talking downturn here, we're talking about a slowing down of growth partly driven by fear of trade wars. But there's a big difference between fear of trade wars and the realization of trade wars. And uh, provided the uncertainty that is holding back capex now, beginning to hold back capex, is not uh, resolved in a way that confirms our worst fears, right. I think we could have a pleasant surprise uh, come the end of the summer. Quick question, because we want to get to migration in our next section. Yeah. What is the Bowder prescription for the White House in the next six months? What's your to-do list for Secretary Mnuchin and the team in the next six months? First, address the unsustainable deficit problem for the federal government that they have created as the a result of deficit. the past fiscal stimulus. And uh, second, uh, you know, make sure that the rhetoric on trade does not become self-fulfilling. China wants a deal, Europe wants a deal, and I believe America wants okay. a deal too. We'd better get one. 